hi and welcome to my channel so there is good news because the uk government has confirmed three groups of people that will be exempted from the dependent ban come spring of 2024 look this is something that is very very important because with every law with every rule there is always an exception and let me tell you if you're somebody who is smart you want to make sure that you're not just saying, oh, I can no longer come to the UK. I'm going to go to a different country. But you're actually looking for other ways that you can still come to the UK. But with your family, whether you've got 50 kids, 10 kids, one child, a husband, wife, it doesn't matter. It's about looking for ways. So in today's video, that's what we will be talking about. So if you're new to my channel, you're welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, I do appreciate your time. And if you haven't joined this family, hit the subscribe button so that you're the first person to be notified every single day when I drop a new video on here at 10 a.m. prompt UK time. So I'm going to be telling you these three groups of people that are exempted from the ban, which means that if you fall in any one of these three categories, yes, you can bring your dependents to the UK even after the spring of 2024. But obviously, if you're watching this and you've wanted to move to the UK, then you need to do that ASAP, obviously. So the first group of people, by the way, NHS staff, let me tell you, the NHS always holds a very special place. Do you know why? Because it is government owned. And by the way, I do have a free newsletter. I've dropped the link in the comment section below where I share information such as this directly to your amazing inbox. So you're not missing out on vital information that is crucial for your personal and professional development. I also share information about free visa sponsorship opportunities to move to the UK or switch your visa if you're already in this beautiful, amazing country. So you're not spending thousands of pounds spending millions of money without even getting a job in the end because there are thousands of families in the uk now stranded frustrated at risk of deportation mainly being deported because they came to the uk through very unscrupulous means so you don't want to do that especially if you're watching my video so i send that info directly to your inbox check the comment section below it will take you 20 seconds to join you drop your name and email and you're part of that newsletter i also share info about career progression opportunities in the uk look let me tell you it is not only about getting to the uk it is what you do with yourself when you get to this country that is going to make it either worthwhile or not because many people that are coming here thousands of people are coming every day but life is tough for these people because these jobs that offer visa sponsorship are not easy. Let me tell you, if they were easy, they would not be recruiting overseas workers because it's bloody obvious. So what I'm trying to say is career progression is key. So I share info about all of that as well. So definitely check that out. You're also going to find my contact details on there. There's my email address, my WhatsApp number. So that if you need to get in contact with myself, ACP, you need that one-to-one -one support, tailored, individualized guidance, then do get in contact with myself. Join a newsletter because that's what it's about. So what is it? The first group of people, like I've said, NHS staff. So if you get a job to work for the NHS with visa sponsorship, it doesn't matter what the job is, you will be able to bring your dependents with you to the UK. So again, this is something that is crucial because the NHS is obviously a very special institution. It's owned by the UK government and the UK people, obviously. So um, it is exempted from many things. There are also endless advantages working for the NHS. They have the best pension, you know, the highest sort of like sick leave, maternity leave, um, annual leave, the rights, there's that job security, um, is something that to get NHS jobs, I've shared extensive information on this channel about clinical jobs, non-clinical healthcare jobs. Many of these jobs don't require any degree, any experience. You don't even need hours. So please take the time that is needed in order to apply for these opportunities. And let me tell you the best thing about NHS jobs. If you don't know how to apply it's very difficult but the best thing is that they are very straightforward once you know what to do and that all the you know all the hassle that comes with agents this it doesn't happen with nhs jobs because they're very straightforward and that's why it is a very secure organization and institution to work for in the uk but like i say if you don't know how to apply it can be very very challenging to get nhs jobs because they require you to have supporting information and you know, by the way, I do have a private career coaching program where I offer tailor, tailored one-to-one, -one, you know, individualized support. And I spend a lot of my time going through supporting information, look, supporting, you know, members of my program to apply for these NHS jobs. And when I look at some of the supporting information that people are using to apply for jobs, I'm like, no doubt you've not got any job. Because with an application looking like this, there is no chance whatsoever that anybody will employ you. 
CVs as well. Having an amazing CV is something that cannot be underestimated because if you're looking for jobs and you're using a CV and applying job after job after job, you're getting no, you know, no response. You cannot continue doing what isn't already working. I know people that have been saying, hey, Melvis, they join my program. They're like, hey, I've been applying for a job for like a year now, two years. I haven't had any job yet. What do you think is going on? I'm like, you cannot be doing the same thing that isn't already working. So I'll help you with, you know, how should you apply for those NHS jobs? Which ones offer visa sponsorship? Which ones can you apply without ALT? Which NHS hospitals are offering visa sponsorship for the job that you want? Because, you know, there's quite a lot that is involved that you need to know. Before even going to the supporting information and the actual body of the application, there's a lot involved. So if you check the description box below or indeed the about section of this channel, you're going to see a link to join my private coaching program. Once you join, then we get started ASAP because there is no time to waste. There is no reason why you're watching my videos and you are not excelling, thriving because look, I'm all about the top 1% of people. Like I say, everything I do. Is just for the top 1% of people, the 99% of people that are professional YouTube video watchers watching video after video, zero implementation, I am not interested. And so if you're watching my videos, please make sure that you're taking action, you're implementing and that you're making positive steps towards the right direction every single day. That's the point. It's not about rushing. You know what I mean? It's going to take how long it's going to take, but it is about making, you know, making positive change towards the right direction. That's really what matters. It's a lot worse if you're just applying and, you know, just in the dark, it doesn't help. So again, do check that out and do share this video, by the way, with your friends, loved ones, colleagues, so that they are aware of these exemptions. They're aware of these beautiful opportunities that the UK has to offer and that they don't feel deflated to come to this country because at the end of the day the uk remains the best country you can move to you know i've been in the uk for 13 years myself i started as a carer in a nursing home i've now progressed to working as an advanced nurse practitioner which is the most senior clinical nursing position look i appreciate you know making a decision to come to this country was definitely the best and especially when you excel when you succeed when you progress when you thrive you know you're it's just amazing so it's definitely well worth it so the next group of people exempted, people that are coming with jobs that are not carer jobs. As you know, this whole dependent thing is exclusively for people coming to the UK on a carer visa or senior carer visa, which means if you're coming to the UK as a teacher, for example, as a nurse, as a doctor, as a nanny, you know, all those people are exempted from this ban. So you can come with your dependents and there's no issue whatsoever. Because to put this into context, by the way, in 2023, about 150,000 visas were issued within these sectors, as as the healthcare sector, about 80,000 of these were for carers and senior carers. So you can see why they're the only ones that are restricted, because all the other jobs had the other percentage. So you can see that this is the reason why it only affects these. And by the way, if you like this content, hit the like button and let me know you enjoy content like this. And obviously I should do more. If you've got any questions, concerns, queries as I'm going along, please do leave that in the comment section below. And I'll join you there to just provide more information. Other people who are going through similar processes and challenges may also be able to chip in. And it's all a learning experience because this is all about succeeding together thriving together and having that successful journey together because there's nothing worse when you are successful alone in a group of people you tend to be like the odd one so the whole point is that when you're succeeding and progressing and moving to the top you're taking people along with you so that you're all having that beautiful journey together and that's what this is all about so the third group of people, so these are people that are already in this amazing, beautiful country, the UK. So if you are already in the UK, already on a skilled worker visa, for example, you will not be affected by this ban, which means you're already here. You can indeed bring your dependents. So it's something that you don't need to worry about. The prime minister has, you know, said, look, people shouldn't worry. They're already in the UK. The main thing is about following the rules, you know, making sure that you're working according to the T's and C's that come with your visa. I think this is the biggest challenge right now, especially for people that are coming to the UK recently, because many of you are coming through people that are called unscrupulous employers where you've paid money to get a job, but actually there's no job. You've just paid money to get a visa. Then you get to the UK. It's a very risky, very messy situation to be in because, as you know, the Home Office is cracking down massively on such companies. And when they are found, yes, they're going to revoke their license. But you as a candidate, you're the person that is going to suffer the most because they're going to cancel 
your visa and give you 60 days to leave the UK or switch your visa. It is not a good situation to be in. I deal with this every other day. It is not a good situation. And that's why I like to stress to emphasize to those of you that are still lucky that haven't gone through this process so that you're aware that there is support out there that you can get, you know, um, from friends, you know, online, lots of amazing content here on YouTube, you know, from lots of, it's just amazing. There's a lot of information out there. But I think the biggest challenge now is saving out that information to say, oh, I've watched this video. I've watched this. What is applicable to me? That's what the challenge is. It's not about information. It's saving out what information is applicable to your specific circumstances. And look, that's what my private coaching program is about. Tailored, individualized, personalized to your specific needs. Because YouTube can be good to have ideas and tips about information, but it's very overwhelming. So check out this video that I've linked up here and I'll see you obviously in this video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, by the way, hit subscribe and you know, I'll see you then.